It's meals like that that make married men out of bachelors. Thank you. Where are you and your husband from, Jeannie? We're both from Virginia. As a matter of fact, we've known each other practically all our lives. Our families were neighbors. What made you come out here? I don't know. Same reason as everyone else does, I guess. What reason was that, ma'am? A new country, a new life. How much uh, ground do you figure to cover before daybreak? We figured we'd spend the night here. That is, if it's all right with you, Jeannie. I don't have enough blankets, but there's fresh hay in the barn. You can bed down on that for the night. That's good enough. Do you find it comfortable, Bodie? I slept here on the floor. My husband was in fever. I asked him to stay and help me. There's no need to explain that, Jeannie. I didn't figure anything to be wrong. Nothing was wrong. That's what I said. Well, I think I'll get me a good night's sleep. Enjoy the meal, ma'am. Real good. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Bodie. Jeannie, we'll see you both in the morning. Get your blankets. stronger than I am. I'm not stronger. I just can't forget that I shot him. Talking it over. We're leaving. There's nothing here worth risking our necks for. Not even gold? If you're just saying that to. I washed my hands in a pan this morning. A gold miner's pan used for panning gold. That doesn't prove they got any gold or even found any. As soon as it's light enough, we can find out. We'll wait till morning. Gold. I wonder how much gold a man could pan here in a year. Let's just find out. Find out what, Teak? Drop your gun. You're mixing in something that don't concern you, Bodie. Your horses are in the corral. Saddle up and get out. Let's make a deal. You're in no position to make any deals. Now get moving.
That's up to you. Well, we know there's gold in that house. Where is it? I won't tell you. That's too bad. Kill it. You can have it. I'll show you. All right, you show me. Ain't nobody going very far with that door. Burley, pick up our guns at the river and saddle the horses. You come with me. Yeah. In there, under the block. Pure gold. Enough to make us rich the rest of our lives. Well, if we don't get moving, we won't live to enjoy it. We'll make it. Still time to saddle your horse and come with us. It's not on a lot of fun, Jeannie. It's better than dying here. Burley's ready with the horses, Pete. Let's go. Okay. All right, turn around and face that wall. Go on, turn around. You heard him. Put that gold back. Get back, Jeannie. Gonna fight for what belongs to me. Morgan. Let's go. The gold, Jeannie. I I wanted it for you. I know. I heard you last night. Oh, Jeannie, you deserve something better than this. Go with him. Pete took the horses. It's lucky we got the canoe. Well, the ribs are all right. All it needed was patching up. How is he? I, I tried feeding him some soup. He barely touched it. You look all in yourself. You need some sleep. He thinks he's going to die. He begged me to leave him here. Oh, Cheyenne, I'm so tired. Jeannie. We've never talked, and I know we know little or nothing about each other. But I watched your face when you've seen your husband in pain. And I've watched you when you've sat thinking, looking into the fire. You could never do anything mean or selfish if your life depended on it. It's the kind of woman I've always wanted. No matter what happens, I want you to know that. I'm not as unselfish as you think I am. I don't dare say anymore. Jeannie, keep looking at me. There's an Indian standing over there. 